let me let me share a little bit like regarding the serpent the serpent uh, the serpent's name is Koat Koat and um, it, it, part of the part of the meaning of the serpent's name Koat is twin is our cuate. In fact, if you, if you speak Spanish, you know people who speak Spanish, they use that term a lot, cuate, cuate. And it means twin, it means my friend. It means a buddy more than a brother, more closer than a brother. That's my other me. And it comes from coat, serpent. Mm -hmm. It also it also represents, the, the serpent is a representation in the ancient tradition that we have uh, of the Mother Earth. Her name is coat Likwe. It means a lady with a skirt of serpents. Okay? And and so the serpent is very, very much a part, a part of the work uh, that, that that's been built into our calendar system as well. Uh, the serpent is the fifth day of the calendar, 20-day cycle, called Koat. And, um, but um, I think an important thing about the serpent is that it represents our other self, our twin. And that's why when we come to the term of Quetzal Koat, it means precious serpent, you know? And we're gonna bring that term out because uh, Quetzal means precious, not feathers. So many times it's been called a feathered serpent. And it's understandable when you eat symbol of a bird and a, and the, the serpent, but in this case, it means precious serpent. And, and it represents knowledge and wisdom. So it represents precious knowledge, precious wisdom. And when you say Quetzal Goat, you say my precious twin. So if my twin is precious, that makes me precious. So it's the knowledge of my precious self. But only when I recognize everything else around me as precious, then I have Quetzal Goat, okay? And that's the knowledge that we have. Uh, knowing, and from when you, you let us know, Chief, that uh, the next gathering of Star Family will be in, in the Serp Serpent, uh, Serpent Mount uh, in Ohio. And uh, knowing that, that from the Great Lakes and coming down the Mississippi River all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, and throughout both sides, we have these mounds, you know, that are pyramids, you know, per se, mm -hmm. you know, all throughout. And uh, the connection, uh, it's, it's a very important connection. For myself, too, also, particularly because uh, in part of my family, from my father's side, uh, we're uh, Kickapoo from my father's side. And so, and that goes way up to those Great Lakes from way back at that time. And right now, my grandmother was born in the Nascimento de Kikapuz in Coahuila, okay? So where they were moved to, okay? So um, it, it's gonna be like, to, for myself, coming back together to that place, you know, for, for, for the, of the ancestors. But um, mainly the serpent has been given a, a real bad rap, you know, the serpent has been given a, a bad rap. But uh, the particular serpent that we were dealing with in the calendar was a rat, the rattler, the rattler snake, okay? And that rattler snake was uh, with the diamonds and the circles that it has on its back. You know, that's where our grandfathers use those measurements to come up with the measurements that they use for the, even the, the temples and the pyramids. And at the same time, that snake is, uh, it has, its, has its mouth divided into four pieces and it has 13 scales on each side, representing the 52 year cycles. And because of his rattler, counting the times and the years, is a keeper of time. Okay? So it's, it's, the serpent is very, very super important at, at this time to come back into that realization, start using those qualities again, and start becoming one with, with the serpent. Meet Mazatzin and many other star elders at the next Star Knowledge Gathering. November 11th, 2010 at the Serpent Mound in Ohio. Seating is limited. Sign up now. Go to StarKnowledgeTV.com Come on, people!